let's take a look at the weekend preview. Uh, starting off, we have volleyball playing against Central Connecticut Friday at 7 p.m. RMU is 22-3. Uh, they're undefeated in conference play with a 12-0 record, and they're undefeated at home, 10-0. They'll be facing Central Connecticut State. They are 12-12, 8-4 conference play, but they are on a five-game win streak. RMU won the last meeting between the two teams, three sets to one. The player to watch for RMU is Emma Granger. She leads RMU with 3.3 kills per set and 4.72 points per set. And the CCSU player to watch, it'll be a battle of the Emmas with Emma Henderson. She leads the Blue Devils with 3.03 kills per set and 3.5 points per set. Next, we'll have rowing at Duquesne. This will end a successful fall season for the Colonials in which they won the Yinzer Cup. Uh, the men's hockey team will be playing at Canisius this Friday at 7.35 p.m. RMU is 3-4 and four in the year. They are 3-1 in conference play. Canisius is 1-4. It's going to be in their first conference game of the season. The player to watch for RMU will be Aiden Spellacy. His two power play goals on the year could come in handy considering Canisius' penalty trouble with their three major penalties on the year and their defensive woes with a negative 16 goal differential. Uh, the player to watch for Canisius will be Austin Alger. He leads the team in goals with two and in points with three. Uh, also on the ice, we'll have women's hockey at Lindenwood Friday at 8.10 p.m. RMU is 4-5-1, uh, 2-0 in conference play. Lindenwood is 2-6-2, they are 0-2 conference play. Uh, the player to watch for RMU will be Emily Curlett, the reigning CHA Player of the Month. She is tied for second in both goals with seven and points with 15. Uh, the Lindenwood player to watch will be Loka Liney Antonio. In addition to having a very cool first name, uh, the freshman forward is tied for the lead on her team in points with three and assists with two. Uh, we'll also have women's basketball at LaSalle this Saturday at 1 p.m. RMU is 0-1 on the year and LaSalle is 1-0 on the year. Uh, the player to watch for RMU will be Nita Augustin. She led the Colonials in their opening game in points with 11 and an assist with 6. The player to watch for LaSalle will be Deja King. She was tied for second on her team with 12 points and led with six assists in their opening game. And then we'll have football in the big game of the week at uh, versus Duquesne, Saturday at 1 p.m. RMU, they are 5-4, and 4-0 four, four in conference play on a four-game win streak, trying to carry their momentum against Duquesne, who is 6-2 and 4-0 and four and oh in conference play. We'll have women's hockey at Lindenwood, again, Saturday at 2 p.m., uh, RMU 4-5-1, Lindenwood 2-6-2. Two, two. The player to watch for RMU will be Michaela Boyle. She leads RMU with nine goals on the season. And the player to watch for Lindenwood will be Madeline Hickey. Uh, she is tied for the lead on her team in points with three and in assists with two. Uh, and we also have volleyball versus St. Francis Brooklyn Saturday at 5 p.m. RMU again undefeated in conference play and at home. St. Francis Brooklyn is 12 and 16 on the year with a 5 and 8 conference record. Uh, RMU won the last meeting between the two teams, three sets to zero. Uh, the player to watch for RMU will be Nicolette Zanoli. Uh, the strong defender leads RMU with four 7.5 digs per set on the season. Uh, the player to watch for the Terriers will be Una Stevich. She leads her team with 3.1 points per set and also leads with 2.63 kills per set. Men's hockey team will be facing off against Canisius again this Saturday at 7.05. Player to watch for RMU will be Justin Adamo. He leads the Colonials with five, six, five assists and six points on the year. And the player to watch for Canisius will be Matt Steiff. He is tied for second in scoring on the team with a goal and an assist. And rounding out the weekend, we will have men's soccer at St. Francis this Sunday at noon. RMU is 4-10 and two on the year. They are three, four and one in conference play. They are closing out the fall season. Uh, St. Francis is 9-5, they are 6-2, also closing out the season. Uh, the player to watch for RMU will be Michael Petiti. Uh, he is second in points with a balanced offensive attack, two goals to assist on the year. The player to watch for St. Francis will be Lucas Rosa. He leads the Red Flash with an astonishing 10 goals and 22 points on the season. Uh, this has been your weekend preview. I'm Evan Basista, RMU Central Media.